Hey everybody, this is Buddy. I'm at the OC. Laura and I was talking about uh, this tornado shelter when the sirens went off two days ago. And that was the day that the wind got up to 70, 80 miles. Uh, it was it was what caused the duck boat in Table Rock Lake to sink. The wind, the waves, uh, the situation got really bad really quick. But Laura and I had just asked the question. I was watching uh, the KY3 uh, cams. The, they literally have a cam at Table Rock Lake. They have one of Branson uh, on the strip and Springfield in a couple of locations. So I had seen the storm coming, but um, oh, my heart just breaks. So needless to say, uh, this is not one of my normal, typical, upbeat, happy videos. I know there's so many people asking questions and hurting about the loss of the 17 people that drowned during the sinking of that duck boat it's horrible I pray for peace within the minds of the people that are immediately involved and the people that are helping the ones that need clarity and help there's nothing anyone can say to give it any meaning other than just to say that this world is is really not user friendly to people it's a loving peaceful beautiful reality when we see it in our minds and we think with our hearts we strive for love and everything in every situation and so the people that are hurting the most there's no real answers that I know of that could justify why things like that happen in this reality I remember being a very young little boy and a tragedy happened in Greenville Mississippi it was horrible carload of teenagers ran into a tree and there was quite a few of them instantly killed and so that was 1969 they were driving a 1969 Daytona Firebird with the wing in the back of it and uh, so it was a brand new car and I remember asking the questions then why does God let things like this happen? And I didn't get no answer then, and I don't have no answer now. I honestly, the thing that I know about this reality and who I am, and why I'm here, is something that everyone that earnestly seeks will find. And it, it's not something that we just put out across the airwaves and try to tell people that this is an unsafe world that God is so tied up doing things that he ain't got time to you know help every little situation but in a part of reality that is that is a type of truth um, the thing that we know about this reality one of the facts about it is Anything can happen at any time. Life is so short when it comes to not knowing if you're going to be here today or tomorrow. Like I say, it's this whole existence in this reality is like a blink of the eye. So I don't really know what to say personally 
in a tragedy situation anymore because i do know this the survivors the loved ones the ones that are looking at why and asking questions if they are go into their heart space and and really see the love in the situation they'll find the true answer to why things happen like that but can't no one person tell another person that God coulda woulda shoulda saved them it's like that car wreck when I was a little kid is there a place and a time where that car wreck didn't happen and those people lived out their existence it could be so I'm going to end it there because it's really hard to explain what happens when something like this goes down and how many people get hurt some people will hold that anger and grudge and that resentment of that event their whole life my advice is to let it go let it go and realize that everything is okay everything is fine and you got to change your your mindset your thinking because there's people, I guarantee you, from 1969 that lost them teenagers in that horrible car accident right outside of Greenville, Mississippi in Leland. If you're, you're watching this video and you're from there, you know I might be talking to, directly at you and to you. You've held something within you about that accident for all of these years and it's caused a type of cancer within your body, a sickness within your mind and you know that there's nothing that you could have ever done to change it and so the people that are going through this the quicker that you can let it go and the quicker that you can come to an understanding within your mind that this is the type of world we live in bad things happen to good people and forgive and let it go. Thank you.